Plus, two neighboring countries are marking the anniversary of their independence. We look back on the partition of India and Pakistan and the high price that was paid. Uh, right now, I want to take you to another region of the world, to India and Pakistan. It has been seven decades since India gained independence from the British Empire and Pakistan was created. But the partition of India left a legacy of hostility between the two neighbors. Malika Kapoor has more. They're neighbors with a shared history, but a fractured present. 70 years ago this week, British rulers sliced a giant Indian empire into two countries, a new Hindu majority India and Pakistan, home to mostly Muslims. From the 18th century through independence, the British empire in India stretched from Afghanistan in the west to Burma in the east. But by the 1940s, anti-colonial sentiment swelled in many British colonies around the world, including India. Hindustan! Demands for India's independence grew, led by freedom fighters Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru and Muhammad Ali Jinnah, who favoured a separate state for India's Muslim minorities. India was burning. Communal tensions between Hindus and Muslims spiralled out of control. Calls to end British rule were reaching boiling point. On the back of a costly Second World War, Britain lacked the will and the means to defeat the independence movement. Britain decided to quit India. In March 1947, naval officer Lord Mountbatten was appointed the Viceroy of India to oversee the handover of power. He assigned British lawyer Cyril Radcliffe to draw the partition line. In just six weeks, he finalized a plan to divide India along religious lines. There would be a new India, a secular India, though it's where the Hindu majority would live, and a separate country called Pakistan for Muslims. On midnight of August 14, 1947, the British Empire officially transferred power to India and Pakistan. After nearly two centuries of colonial rule, India became a sovereign nation and Pakistan was born. Jinnah became head of the newly formed Pakistan. Nehru became the first Prime Minister of India. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. The partition saw one of the largest human migrations the world has ever seen. Millions of Hindus and Sikhs living in Pakistan headed to India. Millions of Muslims migrated to Pakistan. In trains, bullocks, on foot. In a matter of months, at least 10 million people moved across the borders. At least a million Hindus, Muslims and Sikhs died in communal attacks as they crossed the border. Tens of thousands of women and girls were abducted and raped. Families were divided. 24 years later, in 1971, the East Wing of Pakistan split away to become a separate country called Bangladesh. The West side remained as present-day Pakistan. India and Pakistan have fought four wars since 1947, mostly fueled by disputes over the northern Himalayan state of Jammu and Kashmir. Both countries claim it in its entirety but only controlled parts of it. Though both sides have attempted to restore peace many times, they remain hostile, nuclear-armed neighbors even today. So to understand why the countries have so much hostility today, it's important to look back at the circumstances under which both these countries were born, under the circumstances against which India and Pakistan both became independent nations. And as you just saw, given how violent and how bloody it was, it is understandable to see how those events really set the tone for future relations. Christy? Yeah, one of uh, global history's most defining moments. Malka Kapoor reporting for us. Thank you so much. Take care.